So I'm going to talk about building faster data pipeline uh, development with AI and uh, how I built subtldr.com. Uh, I'll go to the products. It's a bit of an inception thing because I'm going to talk about how AI you know, helped me to solve a business problem and how I used AI to develop the thing to solve the problem with AI. So bear with me, you're going to understand. Uh, so first, let's talk about the business problem I had. It's basically too much tech news. I'm someone that needs to be, you know, uh, stay up to date with technology. And I'm sure you get, you know, roughly the same, where in the morning you have tons of notification, new models, uh, you know, every week, especially if we've like Google releasing all the time. I mean, congrats to them, but it's really exhausting to keep up. So apps and social are basically drug dealer right they hook you up to you know consumption and i think our focus is getting shorter uh, you know TikTok and youtube shorts so i think a long form is actually much more healthy so uh, i was like let's let's build an automated newsletter based on some of my data source uh so the one which is obvious and easier to do is reddit so i use a lot of reddit and i was like you know what maybe a weekly newsletter with the top uh, submission and the insight from the comments is going to be much more uh you know worth it my time than every day doing scrolling uh everything so the technical problem now is that i need to work with data i need to fetch the data from the subreddit api i look at data figure out you know which fields i need define models and metrics to calculate some stuff and feed everything to the ai to say you know summarize this and so why are you saying, why do you need actually to calculate things? Well, you know, that's like a subreddit post, for example. And so you have a couple of metrics, right, over there. So the number of comments, the number of, uh, you know, upvote, downvote. But also you need to be able to avoid troll. Like this is like just a simple troll, but it gets a lot of upvote. But, you know, based on my experience, for example, troll do not get a lot of engagement, a lot of comments behind right? Because it's just like a fun joke. Um, so that's a, a calculation matrix that you can, uh, you can do. So roughly the problem is here is that when you work in data and you use AI as of today, and you know, all the lovable, you know, bold.new app, you can bootstrap a landing page or front end super easily. Everything is, uh, either the, the data is not relying on your external data or it's just fully mocked. When you work with data, especially here in my case, I need to see what kind of data from Reddit I have. And it's even worse if it's your internal data. Um, I did say, I want to write a data pipeline to fetch you know, data from sub, uh, Reddit. The AI is generating code, and then I need to test it against the data, right? And you know, do some, uh, some data assert, uh, assertments or quality check and so on. Um, so to speed that workflow, I'm using DuckDB. Uh, I don't know if you, anyone has heard of DuckDB. Raise your hands. All right. So it raised more than 20 million downloads last month on Python client only. And basically, it's a, a all app in process database. So to crunch analytical, uh, you know, queries. And there is an MCP. We were just talking about an MCP. So that means that you can connect it to your cursor uh, and basically it's going to be able to run it fully locally because it's in process. There is not nothing uh, computed on the cloud and it's going to be able to assert the schema, assert some sample of data to give you directly information. So um, and so that's kind of like the output of what I'm getting after. It's like here I'm using Python and Pydantic, and it's going to calculate directly based on this. And this is field he has validated. It's not assumption or whatsoever. He did query the data before. I'm not doing doing a live demo because this guy did already a demo. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to show you uh, quickly how it looks like the MCP. So MCP is just a configuration. Uh, on your cursor is basically, I think I have it uh, here. Uh, so it's here, you just configure some JSON information. <clears throat> here is, I'm just running DuckDB locally. If you want to run it to, to the cloud, to Mother Duck, that's just DuckDB in the cloud. But here, everything is running locally. I pass it to prompt, and then basically what's happening is that you see the AI is generating some codes. And after, yeah, he's gonna suggest, hey, I want to check that data because it's in the prompt, right? It's say, do not assume the data, right? Check for it, check the schema. So it's gonna check with DuckDB, basically, that's what's run behind the scene. Here it's the data is on, on, on S3, on Parquet. 
And basically, you see it's getting the data and directly it knows, okay, I've now the actual survey response focusing on data tools. That's another use case, by the way. Sorry to, to, uh, to disturb you. But basically, get the, the grist of the ID. And you can also, you know, sometimes it's going to make mistake because you're going to make assumption that a certain field is an integer where actually is, you know, a var chart. So you say, oh, apologize. Let's modify the query to handle the year as string. So this is the kind of issue you don't want to handle in development. You want, like, the AI is basically doing this trial and error um, uh, himself uh, directly. But so you get the you get the idea, and this is basically uh, what it looks like at the end. So instead of having the AI and having to test the data, that that was the initial schema. You get this. The MCP is going to do this trial and error, and the code you're going to get is already tested against real sample data. So that's roughly for about sub TLDR. Um, so basically, I'm, this is the development with MCP DuckDB. This is a production. I'm just running Python, shipping it to Gemini and having the summary after. And there is a website. This is my timeout. I have 30 seconds for the switch. <laughs> it works also with Superbase, Postgres, the same story. Uh, uh, Superbase just put this in button, copy a SQL, so that you have schema that you can directly copy to your you know, uh, Gemini chat. So really uh, prototyping quickly API front end with having metadata information is really great. So that's my product uh, online as a side project. And you can see that actually I don't have that much subscriber. It's a fixed uh, subreddit, so you cannot pick your own subreddit. I would like to do that. But I have like crazy open rates, and it's fully AI generated. So we someday have insights. Um, and yeah, so the takeaway, data pipelines require specific context for LLMs, a minimum schema, and at best, a good sample of data. To speed up the development work, you can use MCP to get the above, like DuckDB MCP, Superbase MCP. And people are ready to consume curated content by AI. That's definitely true. And that's it about my talk.